I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use vertical alignment and show how I get here on the POC 200. Again, this is the POC 200 associated with our POS 180. When I'm on the POC 200, all I have to do is go into our applications mode. Any application you go into on the POC 200 is nice because it doesn't require you to be stationed with the tool. All it requires is that you have the tool level and good to start making measurements. When I open one of the applications, it's going to ask me, for instance, I'm going to go to vertical alignment. It's going to ask me to make sure I'm on this job I want. This is, uh, doesn't really matter big, uh, like a, a, that much of a deal, but it's nice to make sure you're in the job you want, just in case you want to save any of the information. So here I am saying me, telling me not to measure the first point, and what I'm going to measure today is, I'll just measure that random lamppost over there. I want to see if that is vertically aligned the way it's supposed to, because ideally it is. So all I do is I say, okay, I'm on my first point. Um, again, on, the, on this screen, I'm looking at the horizontal and vertical angles there, that is what uh, is preset from the theodolite function. Again, usually this means absolutely nothing unless you are dealing with, you're trying to deal specifically with angles as well as the alignment. Um, but if you need to change that, you need to go into theodolite mode, reset your angle, and uh, it'll be at the angle you want. So right now I'm focused on measuring my first point. My height of rod is zero in this case because I am using my direct read function, which you can tell up here I have my laser on. Um, but yeah, if you are, if you are trying to see your vertical alignment with uh, with the prism, uh, you would you'd probably want to have your hider rod on there in the case that uh, you're dealing specifically with heights. Usually that can stay zero though. So now I'm going to come over to my POS 180. I'm going to spin it and op and uh, use the eyepiece to zoom in right on that, that steel beam over there. When I know I'm at the base of the steel beam, I'll come over here. I'll say measure. And it's measuring my distance to my first point. Okay, so my horizontal distance from me to the bottom of the pipe, the bottom of the steel beam is 39 feet, 1 and 5 sixteenths inch. That might be important information to you, but now I'm going to go next. And now I'm ready to measure my second point. So now I'm going to just go ahead and go up to the top of the pole as far as I can to see if it's vertically aligned. I went ahead and got to the top there as far as I could without getting any interference with the leaves or anything like that. And I'm ready to come over here and measure my second point. All right, so what I see here is my height differential is about nine feet, four and a half inch. That's how high I went on the, on the beam. Um, according to the uh, tool, it's actually leaning forward two and seven sixteenths inch. Um, that's kind of significant, but for a lamppost, I guess it's not that big of a deal as, as long as it's anchored. Uh, forward definitely means it's leaning towards me. It would say backward if it was leaning away from the tool. Whether I measure from top to bottom, bottom to top, um, it'll always say forward if it's leaning towards you, towards the station, or backwards if it's leaning away. Um, if I went from top to bottom, the height differential so is negative rather than positive. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory though. Now right means that it's leaning to the right by a sixteenth of an inch. Now the reason it says that is because I, might, I must have accidentally nicked the uh, knob that moves the station a little bit to the right. Um, ideally you want to just use the vertical knob. Um, which is the middle knob. You want to use the middle knob to go up and down and not touch the bottom knob. I must have nicked that a sixteenth of an inch enough to say, hey, from point A to point B, you're also leaning a little bit to the right. Again, most people, um, they want to make sure they're using, when they use this, they want to make sure that they're level on the plane, and, that's, and you can just look at it right there.